Hi there, let's start this from the very beginning. So type in Five Guard Science Base, so there it is. Then here it is, and then click on this. And then um, it saved my ID. Uh, you can type in your ID. If you don't have an ID or a username, username yet, you can create it here. It's just easy. All you gotta do is have an ID. Uh, sorry, have an email. And then um, let's enter my password. I'll just make sure I entered the right one. Okay, then let's sign in. So here you are. Um, you ought to um, click here, so new project, or let's go back. You can also do this one, new project. So it will take you to, to your canvas. Close this one. So let's select um, upload. So since your canvas is clean, you don't have to click new, but if you want to, there's, yeah, there's no effect on it. Um, so click on upload. And then um, uh, assuming you already have saved the template in your um, computer, so you better do um, upload the image and then browse. So go to paper flowers. And then um, click on this one. So this will be your file that you're going to upload. So assuming that this is the file that you've purchased, um, you have the option to like name it and then tag it. I'm not really tagging it because I'm not um, making the file public. So um, I'm just leaving this as is. Um, and then just click save. Okay, so here it is. It's identical. Um, you click it and then you insert it. So, yep, here it is. Assuming that I don't have to resize it, but you have the option to resize it by changing the values on this one. So, just an example for example, I want it smaller, so I'm going to make it 8 inches. So, it will be proportional. Or in ratio because um, it is locked the ratio is locked so I'm just gonna show this so for example you want to resize it but just want to like elongate it for example um, vertically so just click on this so this is unlocked and then I want it to be like four inches in height so that's what's gonna happen anyway let's go back to how it is originally so usually my templates have um, the title over here and for some it also has instructions um, and then I have here like my 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 um, what's it called this my name copyright whatever so of course you don't want to like cut this so what I really suggest you to do is to make this invisible so you so here on this side you have your layers so um, what you can first do is click everything so it will select everything and then click ungroup so it will ungroup everything so when you click on it it will select the individual patterns and then um, you can select here the text so it will select the text over here the layer of it it's actually grouped um you see this eye so okay so you see the arrow you see the eye so this is like the group layer of the text so you just gotta click on the eye yep it goes away so it's that easy so again click on here my logo i mean and then click on the eye boom yep yep goes away so you can um uh, like make it now uh, you have the option option for example you want your paper you want to save on paper you want this to be basically you can arrange it any way you want in your paper 
So most often, my the paper that I use is uh, 11 by 8.5 or letter letter size paper, which is uh, on the landscape like mode. So it's gonna be um, 8 point uh, sorry 11 by 8.5, but I want like uh, to save on paper, so I can move this. You can rotate. Up like this then something like this basically you, you have the choice to move it I just positioned it like that in earlier um, and then if you're gonna cut it I mean you have two options so you can cut it as is so just go to make it so What's going to happen here is uh, decide the, the program or the software will decide on how it, it wants this pattern to be cut. So, something like this. I myself want uh, control on how my, pat my pattern is cut because um, I lay it out myself because I want to save on paper. So, if you want to cut your patterns as is like how you see them here so select everything select all of your patterns and then click on attach they are attached now and then they'll be cut the way you saw it earlier so um, this is the if if you're a Cricut, uh, new Cricut user or new Cricut user this is really like the, the trick some um, okay the trickiest part if you're new because like I just want to cut it but you don't really know the attach um, functionality of the, the program so yep so just remember to attach it um, again so attach it's a very powerful tool <laughs> yep so if you want to detach it da -da, just attach it Okay, so we're going to make it now. So I don't have my Cricut um, on me, uh, like, plugged in. But, um, okay, so it's not plugged in, but I just want to mention that if it's an intricate, um, it's a very intricate, for example, the lace patterns and stuff, so select intricate, cardstock intricate, it's there, just select it. So let's cancel it. So yep, that's that's how basic it is to to use my patterns. Um, if you have any more questions or concerns, feel free to message me. So, uh, that's all. Thank you. Bye.